Welcome to Accurate with Zamayo. In this video, we are going to learn how to use the copy data activity to load file from a lake house to the warehouse in Microsoft Fabrica. So here, if I will go to workspaces and then I go to sales workspace, uh, then I have uh, right here some of the folders. Um, so let me show you my lake house first. Uh, and uh, this is my lake house called Tech Brothers Lake House. Uh, let's open that. And uh, here is the files uh, tab. Uh, then I have a uh, different uh, folders and files sitting here. One of the folders is called staging and then I have sample customer DW CSV file. Let me click right there and it will show you some preview data. So I have customer ID, first name, last name, country, email, sign up date and total spend. So I would like to load this file to the warehouse. So let me take you to the warehouse now. So if I go back to my uh, workspace, here's my sale workspace. Uh, and if I go to the lake house uh, folder, then I have this uh, tech data warehouse. Uh, uh, warehouse. Uh, if I go to the schemas and go to tables, uh, and then uh, that's where I would like to create a table and load that file. Uh, there are two ways I can create the table in advance and load it, or I can create the table at the time of uh, loading it. Uh, so let's go to the uh, pipeline and uh, create the ta new table from there. So here I am in the sales workspace and I have created these different folders for manageability. I'm going to go to the pipelines folder that I have created and then create a new item in this uh, folder. Now once I click on that one, I'm going to go to the data pipeline and in the data pipeline, I'm going to give this a name. So I'm going to call this a 02 and I will say uh, copy activity lake house file to warehouse okay so that's going to be creating our pipeline and uh, once uh, if i hit okay and uh, it's going to open this uh, window where i can start working um, now here i will see uh, a lot of things and uh, you can start from here you can say copy data and uh, then uh, add to canvas or you can go to the activities here and say copy data and then uh, add to canvas so let's do that and here is my copy data activity available. Now let's uh, take this part a little bit up uh, so we can see different configuration. Uh, as uh, I need to read the data from uh, lake house, so I need to go to source here first uh, and then create a connection. Uh, so let's uh, hit uh, on drop down and it's going to show me different connections I have created. Uh, if I will scroll down a little bit, it is going to show me different uh, lake houses and uh, uh, warehouses. Uh, so in this case, I have tech versus lake house that we want to use. So I'm going to choose that one. And then it is showing me two tabs, tables or files. I'm using a file, if you remember that, and that is under the staging folder. So I'm going to go ahead and browse, and then we will be going to the staging folder. And here we will be selecting the file. Now we have selected sample customer DW CSV file, hit OK, and we can do uh, once uh, this is uh, all done here and uh, then uh, next we have to choose the file format. Uh, it's not a binary file because I want to read this as a co uh, comma delimiter file. Uh, so let me scroll a little bit up uh, and see if I can see the options here. So you can see that this is a delimited text uh, and once I select that uh, the preview button uh, appears. Uh, now if I will click on the preview data, it's going to show me the data that I have customer ID, first name, last name, country and all other columns. I'm going to close this and it's all good on my side. And later on in the videos, we will explore more options. Now we go to the destination here and then we are going to make a connection to the warehouse. Let's hit on the drop down and scroll down and here we will see the warehouses. So we have tech data warehouse. And then it is saying, hey, use existing table or auto create table. So in this case, if we would have table, we will select that table, but I don't have that table, which I would like to load. So I'm going to go to the auto create table. And then it's asking me in which schema you would like to create that table. So if you go to the data warehouse here and go to the schemas here, I have multiple schemas here. So I, if you can see, I have DBS schema, I have staging schema. So I'm going to go into the DBO schema. So just type it DBO schema here and then uh, provide the table name that you would like. Uh, you don't have to provide dot here because there is a dot right here. Um, and now what we will do, we'll say this is our uh, customer DW. Okay, so that's the table name. 
and uh, there are some advanced options you can take a look from there if you want to have a default value for some column or something like that you can also have a pre-copy script uh, maybe if you want a truncator table you can do that uh, right batch timeout uh, it's uh, 30 minutes uh, and uh, there are some more uh, options available uh. so we are gonna just uh, leave as everything uh, as is and now we are gonna go to the mapping uh. in the mapping part uh, you see that uh, it is uh, not showing us anything as of now we are going to hit on import schema so it will read the schema from our file and then show us and here we can see all those uh, columns and uh, you can see on the left side i have source and then uh, data type of those uh, columns here on the right side i have uh, columns as well and they took the same name but think about that i'm not interested in their name in convention i want to change some uh, names and i will say instead of uh, first name i will say f name and then uh, in the last name i want to say L name so I can use all those also I can uh, maybe if I don't want any column let's say sign up date is not important for me I can delete that column now we are done with the mapping and everything now let's do one more thing as uh, if I will be using more activities in this pipeline I want to name this one as a nicer uh, name for this so copy data is fine I can call this uh, copy data and uh, then uh, maybe say uh, I want to give some more name and I will say uh, lake house so here you can provide a copying from lake house to warehouse so you can provide the description as well and uh, this is the name it will show up of what you have right here so this is helpful when somebody is looking as a developer hey what this activity is doing so if you can write more uh, details that's great but there is uh, some limit on the naming convention I believe it's 50 characters or something now this is done and we can hit save button here and it's going to save our pipeline and now we can go ahead and execute our pipeline we can go to the run here and then it's going to run right now we can validate as well let's validate and if there is any error we will see the error and we can fix that error there is no error so that's great we can go ahead and execute by hitting run now our copy data activity has gone through some uh, uh, activity statuses such as queue and now it is in progress and then finally it should be successful uh, here is the duration you can see for the execution here is the input uh, you can see where exactly it is reading and uh, you can uh, have other information uh, such as it's reading from the files uh, and then uh, you can see it is a uh, uh, lake house and you can see it is uh, reading this uh, sample uh, customer file uh, and folder staging uh, so you have all that information uh, that you want to get from here here is the output uh, and you can take a look uh, on the output side and uh, it shows you information for the output uh, now also you can uh, close this one and uh, see right here click on the activity name and then uh, it is going to show you the details uh, so you see that uh, there is a source here and there was a lake house and then uh, there is a staging area and uh, then uh, there is a destination uh. so the data was copied to the staging and then it was uh, written to the warehouse um, you have an, you do not have to do anything for the staging it is uh, automatically configured now one file was read and there was 10 records in that file and those are written to the destination uh. you can go further in here and see total duration right there so source to staging duration so it, the time it took from the lake house to the staging uh, that uh, is uh, around 15 seconds and then uh, it read from the staging and uh, wrote to the destination that's 24 seconds uh, so you can click on advanced uh, and uh, take a look uh, it was uh, triggered uh, manually so we close this now and uh, we can go to the uh, our data warehouse and then now uh, we should check the table let's go to the dbs schema then go to tables and here we should have that uh, table now let's go and select the data and it should uh, return us the records which are loaded from the file somehow the select query didn't work so i'm going to select again and see if uh, it opens them um, no still not opening but that's fine i'm going to hit uh, new query and uh, see if that helps or click here and uh, open new query still i'm seeing no activity so some time can happen maybe i will refresh uh, and that will uh, take care of it uh, once i refresh it uh, just go back to the dbo then go to tables and, uh, and then here is the table new query and the uh, select top 100 records uh, now we are selecting the data from a newly created table and you can see that we have id we have f name l name country remember those columns i renamed when i was doing mapping and all those records are uh, there uh, 
Now, if I go back to my uh, workspace here and go to my folder, no, uh, pipelines here, and this is where the pipeline is uh, sitting. Uh, now, I can uh, click right there if I need to make changes later on and uh, add anything or remove anything that I would like. Uh, so, thank you very much. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in next video.